Alright, welcome back to the channel again. Um, so today I'm going to start building this Supernova uh, Sandrock. Supernova, if you are not familiar, is a third party um, manufacturer uh, who actually creates the Sandrock but in his own uh, design and fashion. Right? So here's the box. I actually bought this off when I was in Asia. Um, and uh, yeah, you can see it's a very aggressive looking uh, character. Okay, I've already taken out the box inside. Um, so when you take it out, this is how it looks like. And it has the the manual. Um, pretty simple. Um, black and white, just like uh, how Bandai does it. Then yeah, so and it is, even comes with a piece of cloth that you can actually cover the guy up to give the same dog look. Okay, yeah. So this is actually my gonna be my uh, fourth uh, supernova from the wing. Um, so here is just uh, some of the how they look like. So let's not see how aggressive. So with supernova, you can see like most of them they are very very sharp. So not very suitable for kids for sure. Uh, suitable only for adults. Here is the black, the you know, the colored yellow and the red um, runner, the grey runner, yeah. Sometimes these third, third party ones um they may need some fitment, they may have some fitment issue, but um if you are an experienced builder or have some MG building experience, RG building experience, they will definitely help. Here's the light blue uh, runners. Then the purple uh, runners. Usually, and also the colors with Supernova is also very nice, so you don't really need to paint them anymore. Um, hence, I like the Supernova range, just that sometimes building the thing, like I found right, with the wing kit and the death side kit, um, I did have some fitment issues of like tight fitment. It even comes with a stand, right? So, very well worth it. See, it even comes with a very customized. Stand with the sand rock printing on it as well. Yeah, here is the piece of uh, cake that it comes with it, and some final runners here. Then, good thing it also comes with uh, its own set of uh, water slide decals, as you can see here. So you don't really need to spend money getting any other third party uh, um, uh, sorts of um, third party sorts of. Water slide defense. Okay, let's start uh, building the guy now. So I finished uh, building the upper body um, chest piece. I must say, again, the supernova pieces are really a bit difficult. Um, fittings are not the greatest. Uh, and I put a lot of glue everywhere. So you see this part as well. But the glue didn't fit well. And if you look at the side of the body, it doesn't fit here. The head as well. You can see. I used a lot of glue um, to fit it. Unfortunately, it does look very nice. Uh, one of these the red pieces of the breastplate also didn't fit. I, uh, in order to fit it, fit I fitted, put it some glue as well. So with the supernova pieces I have, I don't know. I don't have the luck to get the right kits, or maybe they are later prints. They don't really fit very very well. So let's uh, move on and uh, soldier on. Okay, so I've completed the two sides of the shoulders and the arms as well. So here we go, putting the left, um, sorry, the um, left thumb in as well. So here we go. That's how um, the sand rock looks currently. Um, the arms were okay, a little bit of fiddling to get it to work but so far so good yeah so next is to build the legs and the waist all right so now i'm working on the feet now the two feet so i've already cut them out from the runners next is going to use my display uh, single blade to clean them up and then the display glass file all right let's get onto it and get the legs up so i've uh, assembled one of the legs one more here you can see is just a inside skeleton the inner frame so i just need to put in the white parts to get it to fit in okay so i've also finished the both the legs and the waist 
see one part of this place here which, which I did here from a friend is this part it's really really um, boost um, I don't know when you put it in but, uh, you can see it's, it's pretty loose so usually it's quite tight but um, yeah and then the shoulder armor and then the backpack let's go ahead and quickly uh, assemble it so I um, fitted him off camera the joint here from the waist into sorry from the torso in the waist is very 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 tight I actually use a, a hobby knife to actually um, scrape the part a little bit and I force it and managed to get it in so um, yeah the waist part here this part also keep falling off so I actually actually applied some glue so now let's go ahead and put in the backpack um, and then also the shoulder armor so here it goes in the backpack so backpack fits yeah this is again uh, quite a difficult fit I would think uh, we need to do it off camera see things start falling off as usual with uh, these guys so I'll need to do that and adjust that maybe later on um, yeah see it drops off quite easily and uh, it's very common with these guys to have a loose backpack um, but anyway uh, meantime the shoulder armor so here this part on the top you actually move this white piece out and then there's a sh there's a small little hole and then this part here goes um, into this to fit in the uh, shoulder armor on the top okay see when you put it in uh, sticks start falling off again so I may need to apply some um, glue to get it into, into position. Okay, looks like I need to do it off camera again. So here it is. Um, as I mentioned, I had to uh, install the uh, parts of it off camera. Um, managed to get in the shoulder armor in as well. Um, I realized this kit many parts keep falling off and I just couldn't uh, get it to stay. Um, the waist uh, area here, I put in glues here as well. These white portions here, which was okay, but when you start putting the shoulder on top, it starts falling off. So I should put some glue. I'm gonna put some glue on these little attachments here as well. And. Hmm, this is the backpack. I tried to put it in. Um, it just wouldn't stay as well. So I may need to put a little bit of glue to help it get back. Um, so the next part is to build the weapons. And um, as you can see, these weapons here, the, the big um, hooked swords or uh, sickles, and then this uh, claw-like thing, then um, the guy will be complete. I will be attempting that next. So here it is, all panel lined up. I used the Gundam uh, panel marker to actually uh, apply the panel lines since I'm not going to be uh, respring this kit. Okay, so next will be the water slide decals. So here we are back as to into the water slide decals. This came with the kit, so just going to follow the manual. Use some mark setter and mark softener and put it onto the kit. Here it goes. Okay, so the sand rock supernova is finally done. Um, I've decaled the guy up and um, I'll probably top coat it later on, but uh, it's more or less done. The decals for this particular kit that comes with the package is really, really good. I, be, I love it. Um, and you'll have a uh, a closer shot later on. So overall this kit um, I don't know maybe the copy that I had was actually not the best in terms of fitting that's why I actually used a lot of glue as I mentioned earlier in many places uh, but I'm still happy to get this kit because the supernova designs are really really nice. Um, you also even get this stand here uh, which you can actually put the cake um, with 
with the shoulders, but I have not used the tape, right? So it comes with this piece of piece of cloth, right? And you can actually cover the sand rock up to give it that keep look, but I didn't uh, put it in. So let's have a turn around to look at the guy and see. Um, he is very well done. So it comes with two colors of the blade: the silver color blade and the blue color blade. Yeah, um, blue translucent blade. Okay, so you can see here you know, how it looks like. The details here are very nice. I like it a lot. Um, yeah, and then here at the back, there is also a, a gun that comes with it um, that you can actually either get me to hold or you can actually put it right in the back of this. Okay. Okay. The two sickle like sabers, and this is really, really, really nice, really, really um, aggressive. So, the other thing that about Supernova kids, if you've never built one, is they are pointy, very, very pointy. So, any of you that have kids or are younger, please be very careful. You, you can, many people when building this kit get prick and you can bleed, poke it, poke. Um, into like the eye, then that's basically sorry you can you can go blind, right? So be very very careful. So all in all, um, this kit um, it's quite uh, rare nowadays. It's uh, because it's kind of an older kit. If you can get a hand of it and you like the Supernova series and you don't mind a little bit of. Uh, wiggling about, gluing here and there, parts falling out. Uh, nothing that the glue can fix. You should get this kit and um, put it in your collection. I actually, as I mentioned, I have the wing uh, um, as well as the death side, if you can see on the video. And then I also have the um, supernova heavy arms, um, which I actually bought. Assembled. One day I'm going to put all them up and uh, take a video or a picture of it. I just don't have the Ultron, um, the way the Dragon. That's the one that I don't really prefer. Anyway, thanks very much guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.